Today I am going to install a fiddle pick. Now over here is the fiddle I was using for 15-20 years. I have a fishman and I put it right underneath the, uh, the bridge if you could see it right here and then went it into my volume control then it went into my uh, tone control and then right over here it came out where I wanted to I also had it rigged up with guitar tuners so it was easy to tune and it was just to hold it in the rack and the fiddle I'm using right now is this one uh, this is my second fiddle same thing I had the fishman pickup it went into my volume control tone control then it came out of here uh, for some reason it's got real squeaky uh, something was wrong with it so I started using this one and I seen this on the internet right here and uh, it was cheap I think 11 bucks and I'm gonna install a pod right there and and the jack and uh, over here I have one from China I had a couple electric fiddles uh, I don't it's still squeaky so I'm gonna install this right here on here I took it out and played it and it sound good so now I'm gonna put a volume control on it I'm going to uh, hook it up to here and hook it up to here and see how it works so here's a book I bought years ago guitar electronics for musicians and right here we have the volume pod operation so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break into the fiddle and put the volume pod in and then it's going to go to the phone jack so here we go. Now if you're anything like me and you don't like wasting time I got myself a little thing and we're just going to start right there because I want that pod coming right there so we're going to come right out there oh. go right through because I don't care and abandon that idea and I got my little Dremel tool here. That's it. That's my way into the fiddle. So the very next thing I went and got myself a piece of uh, aluminum flashing that you'd flash your roof with. And that's going to cover that hole. So I'm going to make a mark about there and a mark about like that. That is going to fit over there like that. Now I'm going to take this jack out I got from Radio Shack, which there's no Radio Shack no more. I'm going to match it up with that, one of these, these bits. And I'm going to drill a hole through it. Right about there. Now that's going to fit right in there. It's pretty tight so I could almost screw it in. Like that. I'll put my thing on it. Put this on it. And that's going to be my jack. It's going to fit right inside my fiddle like that. Now the next step is I'm going to put my volume pot on. So I know when I get my fiddle, it's going to go about here. The wire is going to go around about right there because I'm going to need room to get that out of there if I ever have to work on it. So I'm going to go a little deep. I'm going to go a little farther, right about there. And I'm going to cut that wire just like that. Then what's left of this other wire, I am going to go between my. Uh, volume pod on my pad so I'm going to cut about that much more wire 
Now one thing I'm going to tell you is the more wire you got, the more resistance you got, you want to use as least as possible. And I used to have a thing where I could plug these in and everything would stay short, but I gave up. So now I'm going to hook this out. I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to put it into the fiddle. And like I said, I used to have it where I could clip them together. Radio Shack went out of business though, so I had to give up on it. And now, I'm going to splice this in like this. And it might look like I'm brutal, and I am. I want to get them out of there. Now we get inside here, just like that, and you're going to see, if you can see it well, you got the braided line, which is a shielding. If you don't have a shielding, if it just had two straight wires, what would happen is uh, you would start getting radio waves and buzzing and feedback because it's not shielding. I'm going to explain that as we go. So I'm going to separate them wires, one like that, and the other one. Where I can see it like that. So now I'm going to do it to the other two ends. Now I got my wires cut like I do here. I'm doing one more. Took another piece of wire and I'm ripping it out. That that's going to be my grounding wire for my strings. And then I'm going to right there. Pull that white wire right out of there. Just like that. Get that white wire right out of there. That's going to be the grounding for my strings. So right now, see the tip goes in there. And the tip is positive and this is negative. Let's look at it that way. So the same thing, when it goes in here, that's where the tip is, is right there. So that's going to be the positive. So we're going to take that in there and bend it in there like, like that. And bend it over because we're going to solder it. And this is going to go up in there like that. Alright, we're going to look at this. And right here you're going to see 500K. See that 500K? That's what you use for a volume pot. If you used 250K, that would be for your tone. So, looking at the book, Got to take our grounds, our three grounds. They all kind of match up. We we'll splice them all together, just like that. Now we're going to take that, our ground, and it's going to go right through here like this. I'm going to solder these all together. solder it right to my plate there. That's my ground. So that's my ground and these two are separate right here. This one right here goes to my pickup so that'll go in this way. I'll solder that real quick. This one will go into there, the middle one. That goes to my jack. And I'll forgive the, forgive my uh, expertise in soldering, but you know what? It works. So now I got them all sod together, and I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to take my plug right here. I'm going to plug it in. I've got my pickup in there. I'm going to turn the amp on. I'm going to see if it works. There it is here. 
That's it. We got it all together now. Now we're going to recap here. This is the fiddle pickup. The wire comes down out through there. It goes into this pod. That's it right there. So that goes to the end pod. That's that one right there. Then it comes out and it goes into the jack, the positive. These are the grounds and these is for my strings. And then it goes down to the pod. I'm going to talk about shielding. When you have an instrument and you have open wires like this, bare wires, what happens is you're going to pick up radio waves, it's going to buzz, it's going to hum. Uh, that inside where uh, it's these uh, grounds cover this, it's shielding it. But see, now these are open and ain't shield. So the first thing I do with all my instruments, I get myself some black tape and I cover all my positives with the black tape because I don't want those positives touching anything. As crude as you want to do it, whatever you got to do, you got to cover all those positives. Same thing over here with this. Anything positive, I get my tape in there and I cover it. Black tape. I don't want anything, any grounds touching those positives. I covered all my positives with black tape and I test it again to make sure it's working. Then I get myself some tape. Now this is aluminum tape. What that aluminum tape does is it shields it. So no uh, radio waves or anything to get in it. So I cover everything with aluminum and tape. Just like that. Then no radio waves are going to get in there. And cause the humming and everything else like that. I do that to all my instruments. It's called shielding. One time I was getting buzzes and hums and I'm taking it back to the music store and they're doing this and doing that. And then I bought the book and he says, oh, book says you have to shield it. So I went down there and I said, hey, the book says you have to shield it. Go, oh yeah, but they didn't do it. So I cover everything. It's okay if it touches the ground. That's what it's supposed to do. You don't want those, uh, you don't want, you want to shield that from all the radio waves. You can do it with aluminum foil. You can use aluminum foil too. I got that from the auto store. So there it is. So now I get it inside the instrument and I already made a decision where it's going to go. I decided to get it right up and through this hole right there. Put the washer in, this in, I'm holding it up with the screwdriver the other end. Tighten it up with this. I was looking for a volume pod. Uh, this one just kind of slides right over there. So that's it. Now I got my volume. Now when I'm playing the fiddle, I don't want to hear the fiddle, I want to hear what's coming out of the amplifier. So I usually stuff my fiddle with sponges so that uh, the only thing I really hear is what's coming out of the amplifier. A little trick for it. Now I got that all done. My last step is I got to secure this. So you kind of got to bend it a little bit to go with the flow like that. And I got these screws right here. Uh, it's got a drill bit on the end. It goes right through into the wood. So I put this down like that. I'm 
going to talk about the amp I'm playing out. Of. The reason I do it this way is because I have two channels. This is a Fender Twin. Very simple. Just treble, middle, bass. This one has reverb. This has nothing. On this side I put my banjo and I put my fiddle. And right there I put on all my amplifiers my settings. Two and a half. That's two and a half. Five. If I play in a banjo. It's very simple. When I'm doing the fiddle it's two and a half. It's six. And it's seven and I play everything through the same amplifier and the reason is because if you go and you're playing festivals or something and there's a sound man you don't want to be bringing five amps with you you just want to bring one amp with you and you're monitoring thing, listening to this amp all the time and you could control it it's a lot less to take with you a lot less simpler and uh, it just works a uh, hundred percent for what I do so I'm going to give you a sound check now and show you what it sounds like. Okay, I went out and played it and I got it in a position right about there. That's where it sounded the best. I moved it around because uh, I only play maybe six songs a night and I moved it around. This is my ground wire. Remember that? That came from the pod. I didn't film that correctly. So I came and I wrapped it around the strings. It's part of the ground. And I got my sponges in there. It was sounding a little hollow. I'm going to maybe throw some more sponges. You got to keep playing with it until you get the sound that you want out of your fiddle. So that's it. I hope you picked up something from it. Uh, good luck.